Hey everybody, I'm back this week to do the uh, promised pumpkin recipe. We are going to do pumpkin soup in the microwave. Sorry if I seem a little bit tired because I am fresh off of the going to the Ren Fair yesterday for Time Traveler's Weekend. Oh, just I'll talk to you more while this stuff's cooking. It was a blast. So, you start with a good sized microwavable bowl and a 15 ounce can of pumpkin. Uh, just the pumpkin puree. As I usually tell you, no pumpkin pie mix because we're adding spices and everything. So you're just going to go ahead and scoop that out into your bowl. And I want to say welcome to all of my new subscribers that I hopefully met yesterday at the Ren Fair. It's so much fun. Okay, so once you get all your pumpkin out and into your bowl, you're going to add two and a half cups of chicken broth. So it looks like I have a mega container. I really do. It's because I was um, practicing the recipe. Okay, there's two. And a half. Okay. So we've put our chicken broth in. We are headed. Sorry, I have my recipe written down here. Chicken broth. Okay. We want a half a teaspoon of onion powder. Half a teaspoon of onion powder. And half a teaspoon of garlic powder. Okay, we have our half a teaspoon of garlic powder. Now we want a fourth a teaspoon of pepper. Up to you if you use black pepper or white pepper. It really doesn't matter. But fourth a teaspoon of pepper. Okay. So we have our onion powder, garlic powder, pepper, sodium broth, pumpkin. Okay, this is the part where you can um, start to stir it. But you're also going to be adding either a fourth a cup of evaporated milk, give it a little bit of richness, or you can add, and this is what I like to do since it's the fall time of year, a fourth a cup of a pumpkin pie spice uh, coffee creamer. Gives it a little extra cool taste to it. Um, like I said, if you don't like the pumpkin creamer, or you can't get it, doesn't matter what brand, but I have an international delight here. Um, Evaporated milk works just fine to give it that little creaminess. Okay, now pour that fourth the cup in. You're gonna stir it slowly to get everything mixed up. You could use a whisk if you had one or you wanted to, but the pumpkin does stir up pretty good. Then we're gonna heat it. Heat it. We're gonna cook it in the microwave for three minutes to begin with. And then, sorry, I'm chasing down all the little uh, garlic powder globules that don't want to dissolve. Um, we're going to do it for three minutes. We're going to stir it really good. And then we're going to do it for three more minutes. And then you just made pumpkin soup in the microwave. Okay, let me set my spoon out. Because I have a feeling if I lean it on the side, I'm going to be fishing it out of the bowl. Done that one too many times. Um, but before we put it in the microwave... We're going to add two tablespoons of butter. You can just plop the um, tablespoons there on the top because it's going to melt in the microwave. So, three minutes in the microwave. Okay, well, start to clean up a little bit. But, um, just to give you guys just a brief overview of everything I did at the Ren Fair yesterday. So, <coughs> hard to give a shout out to just everybody and all the vendors I saw because everything was amazing. Obviously, I got the official, one of the official PA Renfair t-shirts. Um, I got, this will be for you, Danielle, too, the uh, mugs that she wanted. I got, they're the uh, official Renfair mugs. I stopped up at the winery and got 
got um, two bottles, a bottle of the amazing honey mead and a bottle of the sangria. That's actually for me and my mom. I got a, oh boy, this stuff is good. They had a new kettle corn stand there this year. This stuff's phenomenal. Five bucks for this huge bag. I loved it. Also got some of their cider. Really good too. Caught a <laughs> Becky and I, um, since the Geek Girl Project was there, caught a bunch of beads at the pirate auction. That was fun. I went to the one uh, jewelry stand and got a cage necklace for the little pearl that my friend Kat got me last year. You can see I got a Tudor Rose. That was cool. Also at the pirate ship, I picked up these cool little gifts for Brennan and Christy. They'll probably get them tonight or some night this week. It's okay, I don't think they'll see this episode <laughs> before I give it to them. But those are cool. Got a massage from that one place. Oh, those ladies are amazing. If you get a chance to go to Pennsylvania Renaissance Fair, find the ladies that do the massages. It's heaven. They're the best. Um, probably my favorite souvenir I have to show you guys. And this was my big splurge for the weekend I got at the pirate ship. I got a replica sword. And if you know which one it is, you're awesome and I love you. But yes, this is going to be, and um, as soon as I put the managed to get the mounting block on my wall, this will be hung up on my wall. Because how cool is this? <laughs> totally geeking out just a lot. But yeah, that's going to be mounted on my wall here soon. Okay, in about 30 seconds, we're going to take this out and give it a good stir. I hope you guys are enjoying uh, my pumpkin recipe so far. I just do love all things pumpkin. And um, when it's done, it makes two to three, possibly four servings. Um, you just ladle everything out into a bowl. And it's optional, but what I like to do is take a... Oops. What I'm going to do first is stir. You see the butter has started to mount on the top. I like to scoop the edges because I'll make sure nothing sticks. Sorry if I'm waving at my head, I somehow fly around in the house. I'm not usually messing with that while I'm doing my recipes, but a fly has been bothering me. But um, just stir it gently because you want to start to get the butter incorporated. And we're going to do it for three more minutes. Zoom back down. Pop that in for three more minutes. Okay. And then I will be done. I'm trying to remember where I was at. But like I said, I got the sword. That was awesome. Um, the Geeker Project had a fun meetup. Loved handing out our cards and meeting all of you. And to see some, of, see some of you that say, oh my gosh, I've seen your show. Trust me, you couldn't have given me a bigger thrill because just to meet people who have seen my show and that don't actually know me personally, it's just a thrill. But oh, I remember what I was talking about. I can tell I'm tired. Um, this is optional, but when I'm done, after I've ladled, ladled it into bowls, I like to take a big dollop of sour cream, plop it right in the middle, and sprinkle it with um, the dry roasted pepitas. And just sunflower seeds. I mean, not sunflower, but pumpkin seeds. Give it, gives it a nice little crunch and a uh, nice little bit of creaminess to it but yeah I can't say enough good things about everything that we did yesterday would have loved to have driven back down and gone again today but oh yeah I am just way too tired <laughs> bless the people that can go for both days because I am not one of them. And the one other thing that we did that I'm going to play for you guys here because we have it a little bit. We went to see Tartanic again. Amazing bagpipe, drum, band. I love everything that they do. Let's see if I can get this going. Can you guys hear that? 
I've had this CD playing. I bought a CD of theirs. Look them up wherever you can. Tartanic. They're amazing. <laughs> okay, I'm going to turn that off now because I think everybody else, <laughs> my dad's probably asleep. But, um, love them. It was such a good show. I, I think I've shown you guys everything I got, except for a lot of good food. Well, Becky and I split the scotch eggs and, um, flies driving me nuts here. And the fish and chips, so good. <sighs> Wanted to bring home a couple other souvenirs, but apparently kidnapping's illegal. But I did enjoy taking my picture with Mal and Han on each arm. <laughs> I know, if you know me, you know I'm like incredibly shy around guys. But these guys' costumes were so good, I just walked up to them and went, Okay, one of you on each arm, I'm getting a picture. <laughs> but unfortunately, you know, couldn't bring them home. have watched the Doctor Who finale already? I mean, f premiere. How good was that? And if you haven't, spoilers. It's a little frustrating because I did think it was a little busy, a little too much going on, but that's Moffat. Moffat for it, whatever. Okay, anyway, our suit is done. Careful because it's going to be hot. You'll see the butters there on the top. Um, you just give it a good stir and that'll get incorporated. Mmm, if you could smell, oh, wish you guys could smell this. Okay. Tap my spoon off. Grab my ladle. And you just get yourself a ladle. Get yourself a bowl. And fill it up. Like I said, this here is what I like to do. I like to take a spoon, get a nice, just big dollop of sour cream, and just a sprinkle of the pepitas on top. You can add as many or as few as you like. You can even add, um, I know some people do this, even though I didn't this time. Uh, if you have a pre cooked crumble sausage, like a spicy chorizo or just something with a little bit of a kick. Um, make sure it's heated up and already cooked in your microwave or what bought already cooked. I saw that, but I didn't have the money at the time. And um, sprinkle, go ahead and like put some of that in there so you'd have like a spicy sausage pumpkin soup. But right now, you just made an awesome, let me get a clean spoon, pumpkin soup in the microwave. And you can eat on it for a day or two or share it with the family. You can see I have awesome little spoonful of it. Mm. Creamy, rich, pumpkin-y. Got a little bit of the crunch from the pepitas. I'm gonna go finish this off. Tell me guys what you think. Let me know if you saw me yesterday. I'm hoping to uh, talk to some of you guys. But um, give me some shout outs and let me know what you think of this or have any requests. Sorry. <laughs> so I will see you guys next week when I'll probably have another pumpkin recipe because tis the season. See you guys.